Good morning, everybody. How did I go? Oh, what's on my head? Oh, oh my goodness. Is it a spider? Oh, oh, okay, sure. It's only Harry. Good morning, Harry. Come say hello to me. He's at my desk. Good morning, Harry. This is my friend, Harry. Hello, Harry. You gave me a fright there for a second. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the spider. Okay, you can sit over there. We're going to read our story. Oh, there's more spiders. Did you bring your friends? Oh, good morning, everybody. Morning, spiders. Okay, they can sit there and they're going to listen to our story. Okay, today we are learning about spiders. Are you scared of spiders? A little bit? My goodness, Harry gave me a fright when he was sitting on my head. <laughs> you actually don't need to be scared of spiders. Because they're actually good. You know what they do? They catch all the insects, like the mosquitoes, that irritate your night. They go, Zzz. okay. So spiders are actually not that bad. They catch all the bugs for us. Okay, shall we go to our story in the forest? Today is Thursday, the 28th of May, 2020. And it's very cold today. Is it raining by you? It's raining by me. It's really cold. Okay, let's go to our book. Harry, you sit there and you be good now, hey? Okay? Oh, he's very big, isn't he? Okay, in the forest. Okay, you must tell me what you can see. Oh, Harry, you're going to have to scoot over a little bit. There we go. Jumping bunnies wake up early. How many bunnies can you see? Two. One, two. And how many mushrooms can you see? Two. One, two. And how many flowers? Oh, one's hiding over there. One, two, three flowers. Little squirrel has found his lunch. What is he eating? Squirrels love acorns, don't they? And can you see the two birds over there? Let's count them. One, two birds. And how many butterflies can you see? I can only see one. Oh, Spiky Hedgehog is ready to curl up in a ball. Can you see him? Remember we made a hedgehog last week. A spiky one. Okay, how many eyes does the hedgehog have? One, two, two eyes. That's right. And what can you see now? What are these creatures? These are owls. Two little owls hoot good night to all. Ooh, ooh. Okay, lovely. Can you see all the stars? Lots of stars in the sky. Shall we count them? Okay, I'm going to move the book so you can see. Okay, we got one, count with me, two, three, there's one hiding here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen stars in the sky. Beautiful. Okay, seeing we are learning about spiders today, shall we sing Incy Wincy Spider together? Okay, let's go to our first song, Incy Wincy Spider. Get your Incy Wincy Spiders ready. The Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. Okay, okay ready? Put your fingers together. Let's do the eensy weensy spider.
The eensy weensy spider, spider up the come. water spout. Down, Down came, came the rain, rain washed the spider out. out. Good. The nice, Jody. The rain. rain and the eensy weensy spider. spider. Come, spider. Up the spout again. A little faster now. Oh, faster. Go on. Where's your spider? Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came, came the, sun the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the easy weasy spider went up. Good the job. Again. Now let's try it slow. Okay, slowly. Voice. The big, big spider. Oh, <gasps> big spider. Big, big spider. <laughs> up the water Made him climb. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the big, big spider. Oh, <gasps> big spider. Up the spout again. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Can you see we are in the jungle today, in the forest? Oh, look at my beautiful waterfall and my trees. Do you know that you find spiders everywhere, even in your house? But you don't need to be scared. Okay, do you have your web for me? Let's go to our desk. Do you have your web for me, your spider's web? Okay, do you have your string ready for me? Okay, you need some string, you need a spider's web, and you need some glue. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to glue our spider web, okay? And we're going to make, build our spider web just like a spider does. Okay, the spider has silk, and he, what does he do? He spins his web from his abdomen with his silk. Okay, I'm putting glue all along my spider web because we are building our own spider web with our string you can use any glue even print will work and we're going to stick all our string together and build our own web just like a spider okay are you gluing glue 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 And just now, we are going to make a spider for our web. Okay, you need your scissors and you need your string so you can cut it up and stick it. Okay, see, I'm going to cut little bits and I'm going to stick it. Okay, on my glue. You can, it might get a little bit sticky, but it's fine as long as it's got a bit of a web. Okay, there we go. Can you see my first string? We are building a web. We are building the spider's home for him. Because that's what the web is. That's where he lives. Okay, and also he catches his food there. Because the web is sticky, and when a fly gets stuck in the web, the web starts moving like this. And then the spider goes, oh, there's lunch. And then you can catch him. Okay, keep cutting and sticking your spider web. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so I'm just cutting little bits off of the string. You don't have to cut off bits. You can just string it all the way around. But I've got a very long piece of string here. Okay, look how nice his web looks. Beautiful. Okay, it's quite hard to cut the string, isn't it? So just use your fingers to put it in the correct place. Okay, some more glue. Well, that dries and we can give it a break just now to dry. And we can do some movement. And then we're also going to do some... Yeah, you know, dancing and making our spider. And don't forget your egg box just now. We're going to need an egg box. And I said marbles. If you don't have marbles, you can use 
paper balls and a spoon or a straw. Okay, lovely, there we go. Let's keep sticking. How is your web looking? Is it looking pretty? Do you think Harry will be happy with this? I think he will. Do you like the web, Harry? Is it nice? Did you enjoy the story? I think he enjoyed the story. What do you think? How many legs does my spider have? Let's have a look. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four legs on this side. And one, two, three, four on this side. And can you see he's got two parts to his body? I put a bit of glue on you. I'm so sorry. He's got a head and he's got a body. There we go. You sit over there, Harry, and you can watch me make the web. And your friends can join us as long as they're very good. There we go. Oh, they're enjoying this. They're getting very excited. I'm building a web. Okay, there we go. <laughs> can you see them all watching? Okay, let's finish our web. Stick, stick, stick all the string. Oh, you guys are doing a, such a good job. I can see you working so hard. If you need a little break and your fingers are getting tired, then take a little break. Go for a little run around the lounge or in the kitchen. Go for a quick run. And give your hands a little bit of a break. Okay, I've got two more big pieces of the web. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay, as long as it looks like a web. Okay, I'm going to go around and finish my last few. I think webs are absolutely beautiful. Do you like webs? And especially when it rains, you can see the webs. It's got little droplets of water on it. So beautiful. Okay, there we go. Let's cut some more string. I'm just cutting it into little pieces and sticking it on my web. There we go. Okay, put a bit more glue on here. This glue is tricky to get out. So if you're using this glue, mom might need to help you squeeze it. But if you're using Prit, you can do the Prit. Okay, last two on this side. And then I've got one more to go around. Wow, look at this web. Beautiful. Okay, last bit of glue. And can you see these pieces hold the webs together there? Okay, so that'll be on a tree or a branch or something like that. And it keeps the web in place. And did you know webs are very strong? Very, very strong. And shame, when we break a web, then we are actually killing the spider's home. So let's not do that. Okay, and spiders, you know what they are called? They are called arachnids. Everybody thinks they are insects, but they're not, because they have eight legs and only two body parts. Remember, the insects have six legs and three body parts. Okay, let's stick our last bit of glue down. And our last bit of our string. How are you doing? Are you enjoying making the web? I can see you working so hard. Your fingers are going to need a break after this. Okay, here we go. And do you know what spiders eat? What do you think they eat? They eat bugs, don't they? Bugs and flies and 
even grasshoppers. Some of the bigger spiders can catch them. And you know what? Spiders are actually really scared of you. If you think how big we are and how small they are, they're more scared of you than you are of them. Okay, there we go. I'm nearly done with my web. How are you doing? I can see you sticking very nicely. Okay, nearly done. Do you like my web spiders? Does it look pretty? Okay, let's stick the last few down. This is going to take a little while to dry. That's why we did the spider's web first, before we did the spider. Okay, so just use your fingers to put it in the correct place. There we go. Are you done yet? Can you give me a thumbs up if you're done? Are you done? Oh, thank you, JD. JD's done. Good job. Okay, woo, it's all sticky. I'm going to let my spider web dry now. Can you let your spider web dry as well? Okay, I'm going to pick it up and put it over there to dry because just now, we are going to do a spider. Okay, I'm just wiping all the little bits here. There we go. Okay, have a good look at my spiders. How many spiders do I have? Okay, how many can you see? Oh, four spiders. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. And can you see they're all different colors? Okay, you get some black spiders, you get green ones, you get brown ones, you get all different colors. Okay. And some are big and some are small, but they all are spiders, okay? And you can see there, they've got mandibles over here, okay? And then they've got four legs on either side. Can you see? Okay, there we go. And you don't need to be scared of them, but it doesn't mean you must go around touching them, okay? Because some of the spiders might bite. You just got to be careful, especially if they think you're going to hurt them. Shame. So let's just be a bit more gentle. And daddy long legs cannot hurt you, okay? So you don't need to be scared of them either. They'll catch all your mosquitoes for you. Okay, there we go. Shall we get up? And we need to do some exercise. Let's get moving. Up we get, everybody. Up we get, up we get. We're going to go to our song. Are you ready? Okay, the Jungle Boogie Dance. Come on. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla. Gorilla. Where nobody goes, there's a slithery snake. Slithery snake. Do the snake. Come on. Boom Come on, are you moving? He washes his clothes. Okay. Good job. Do you feel a bit better now that you got all that energy out? Goodness, 
because we worked really, really hard, didn't we? Okay, shall we get our spiders now? Shall we do our spiders? Okay, so you need some sort of things to make a circle. I've got a cup here, a bigger one for the body, and I've got a smaller one for the head, okay? I'm going to trace these to make my spider. And I've got a piece of cardboard here, just the back of a box, okay? And I'm going to trace them, okay? So look here. We're going to do the big one and then the small one. And you must try and make sure that they are touching, okay? Because their body, are, their body is attached to their head, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Okay, get your pen or your cokey or something and trace for me. Okay, trace around. This is going to be, oh, this is going to be a big spider. Okay. It doesn't, yeah, I'm going to cut it out now so you'll be able to see it properly. Okay, spiders don't really have circle bodies, but we are going, they kind of do, look. Okay, so we're going to just make it a circle. And a head now. Now look here, I want you to see how close the circle is on top Really, it's touching this one because that's his head. Okay. There we go. But we're going to cut it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just when you draw it now, I want you to see. Okay. Now I'm putting the cup down and I'm tracing around. Okay. Can you see my two body parts? Okay. It's a head and a bottom okay which is his body now we're going to cut them out okay cut out your spider because we only need one circle and another circle we don't need all the rest of it okay i'm going to just cut the rest off here there we go let's cut his head out try and cut on the lines as best as you can if you can't, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, so look, I'm moving the paper as I'm cutting, not my scissors. Okay, there we go. There's my head. Okay, the head of the spider. And now I'm going to cut his body out. Okay, we are going to glue it and let it dry. In a second, would you like to color in your spider? You can put some hair on him because spiders have hair. Did you know that? They've got lots of little hairs on their legs and their body. Okay, so we can make a hairy spider. You can color it in whatever color you would like. Okay, there we go. And then you can get rid of these two pieces, the pieces that you've Use to make the spider, just cut, throw them away. You only need your two circles. Okay, can you see there? Before we glue it together and let it dry, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring in. So I'm going to make some, some spider hair. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do this. You can color it in or you can make some spider hair like I'm doing. And I'm going to ask you a question. How many eyes do spiders have? Do they have two eyes like we do? No, they don't. They have between six and eight eyes. My goodness, that's a lot of eyes. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to draw out six to eight eyes. Can you see my hairy spider? Oh, he's going to be a big hairy spider. Do you know some names of spiders? Okay, so what do we get? We get a tarantula. Tarantula is a very big spider. And he's got lots of hair as well. Very big. Okay, and he looks very scary. Now I'm going to do the head of the spider. But I'm going to draw his eyes. So don't forget to not do the top there because we're going to draw his eyes there. Okay, I'm going to draw... Do you want to draw six or eight eyes? They mostly have eight eyes. I'm going to draw red eyes. Okay, they're like circles. And some of them are bigger than the, than 
the small eyes. You've got small eyes and big eyes, okay? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. You see, spiders can see often all around them because they've got so many eyes and they go so far back. Okay, there we go. I've got eight eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. Did you draw eight eyes on your spider? Okay, I made red eyes. You can see it a little bit better. Okay. There we go. So you can draw your spider's eyes however you want to. Some of them are normally got some eyes over here as well. Okay. Are you ready to glue your spider? Okay, so we need to glue this part. Okay, the head needs to be stuck to the body. Okay, so we can either do it like that, which I think will be better. So this part we're going to just glue here. Okay, just over there, and then we're going to glue it down and let it dry for a little bit before we do anything else. Okay, let's put some glue on. Make sure you get you sticking his head to the body. Okay. And you see I've only put it on one side. Now I'm going to leave it to dry before we do his legs. Do you have your pegs for his legs? Do you? Okay, there we go. While it's drying, would you like to go and look at some real spiders? Would you like to? I've got a video of real spiders. Let's have a look at them. Oh, goodness. Are you watching the spiders? Oh, look at that one. He's got very hairy legs. Can you see? Oh, my goodness. I think if that crawls on me, I will scream. Will you scream? Oh, my goodness. And there's a spider in his web. Look at his beautiful stripy legs. Can you see he's got black and orange and white? Beautiful. And he's in his web. Wow. There I talked about the rain earlier. Look at the raindrops sitting on that spider's legs. Oh, look at his legs. They spread out. Oh my goodness, that's a big spider. Sure. There's another big one. Can you see his head and his body? And he's got eight legs and there he's busy on his web. Okay, the silk comes out of his abdomen, which is the bottom of his body there. Oh my goodness. Wow, those are big spiders, aren't they? A little bit scary. Sure. Okay, how is your spider doing? Is it drying nicely? Has it got its eight eyes? Okay, all, all these spider friends want to come and say hello. Hello, spiders. Hello. Okay, now you need, you can pack all your other things away, your string, your scissors. Pack all of that away for me. Now all you need is your pegs okay so I want us to count our pegs we've got one two three four pegs do you have four pegs on one side okay now we're going to put four on the other side okay one two three four how many pegs do we have Okay, we've got four on this side and four on this side. What are four pegs plus four pegs? Let's count them again together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, four plus four must be eight. Okay, we are going to make his legs now. So pick up your spider. Okay, and we are going to put... So you're going to squeeze the peg 
and you're going to put his legs on okay so we want four on this side okay try not don't put them on his head because your legs don't come out of your head do they <laughs> no they come out of your body okay two three squeeze those pigs and four there we go my spider's got four legs okay he needs another four on the other side otherwise he's gonna tip over isn't he okay let's do four on the other side one oh see he wants to move his head now two three and four he's got one blue leg <laughs> he's a super special spider okay look at my spider i think he's pretty cool my spider's got eight legs he's got two body parts he's got lots of hair and he's got eight eyes and he's got a web my web is still drying but let's just show our spider here we go spider here is your web when it's dry you can live over there okay i'm just going to put it there for now there's my spider on his web okay mine's still drying but when it's dry then you can put your spider on your web there we go what a cool spider do you love it did you love learning about spiders i did okay finish up with your spider there if you're still busy there's mine okay put your four legs on either side good job i love your spiders they look super super cool okay remember we want four on one side and four on the other side okay so that he can the spiders can walk like this okay have a look at all of my spiders over here can you see it's got to have four on this side and four on that side look at this one four okay some of the spiders legs go back like that they can move them close up to the front or to the back there we go look at that okay let's let it dry did you remember your egg box did you okay i'm going to move the spiders up get your egg box for me and your marbles or your straw okay i've got marbles because I have a little boy, so that's why. Well, he's not so little anymore. I've got marbles, okay? Pretty, hey? Can you hear the sound they make? Listen. Okay, but if you don't have marbles, it's absolutely fine because you can use anything that you have. I've got a straw as well, just to show you that you can use the straw. Okay, we've got two parts of our egg box. Do you have two parts? You've got the lid okay can you see the lid let me turn it around okay you can see the lid of the egg box and you can see the bottom okay so i want you to cut it if you've got a small egg box it still has a lid i want you to cut it along here so that you have two parts okay i'm going to cut it with you pretend to cut it because i've already done it okay so we're going to cut the lid off okay there we go cut 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 we're gonna cut the lid off okay first we're going to use the top if you only have the bottom it's fine we'll get to that in a minute okay we're gonna cut some holes out let's go to our cam our clothes cam and you can have a look what I want you to do can you see here I've cut some holes out because we're gonna put our marbles and our paper in those holes okay I'm gonna cut a lot more now we want to cut some holes so it's gonna be like a little house so I want you to cut around you can see here just cut a little hole big enough for the paper ball or the marble to get through okay okay so I'm just cutting little pieces off but it's got to be at the bottom because when I put it down When I put it down, have a look on the close cam, see if you can see. Okay, no, yeah. When I, when I put it down, you can't, then it's going to have a hole. Can you see there? 
Okay, so it will be flat on the ground and the marble or the ball can go through the hole. Okay, let's carry on cutting like little, little houses, little caves. <laughs> there we go. This is a very fun activity you can do at home. I'm going to show you lots of different things you can do with the egg box and the marbles or the paper balls or the paper straw or just the plastic straw, whatever you have. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you with a, with a marble. Okay, so I've got a hole here. Okay, and now I want you to try and get the marble into the hole with the spoon. See, like that. Okay, and if you've got a paper um, ball, it works as well. Okay, you've got to try and get it into the hole. Go. There we go. Shoot it in like you're scoring a goal. Good job. Okay, so that's what you can do with it. Now I've got some more on this side. You'll be able to see a little bit better here. Oh. And if you don't want to use a spoon, you can also use your finger. Okay, can you see it going in the hole there? Whee! So you can have lots of fun, even with a straw. you got to guide the straw and the ball through the hole. Do you want me to turn it? There we go. Okay. So it's quite, it's like you're hitting a bat with a ball. Okay, now I'm going to get you some paper balls. Okay, by, by making paper balls, all you're doing is squashing the paper and you're making a paper ball. Okay, I'm using my straw like a bat and I'm hitting it through the hole. Okay, hit. There we go. Are you scoring goals? There we go, lovely. Okay, so that's the top of mine. Lots of fun, you see. And when I lift it up, what do you see? all my different marbles and balls that I used. Okay, so you can use your spoon to hit from side to side, even with the paper ball, if you only have one. Okay, it's like you're hitting with a bat, but you're just using a spoon or a straw. Okay, see, look at that. It's lots of fun. Woo! Okay, now I want to show you on the top what else you can do with the top. If you only have the top, okay, can you see there? If you only have the top, look here, you've got little holes. Okay, you can try and throw them into the holes like this. Throw them, okay? And if you've got paper balls, like I said, it also works, okay? You've got to try and throw them. So move a little bit away and try and aim to get them in the holes okay so that's also lots of fun you can decorate this box and you can make it super fun you can even make a little maze okay where you've got to move the ball or the paper along okay and another thing that we can do okay so I cut a hole here have a look on the close cam okay can you see I've cut a hole there okay so I'm going to cut a hole because I'm going to try and guide the marble or the paper through the hole okay let me cut it a little bit more for you let's go back to our desk and you can have a look okay so I'm just cutting this piece out so you can really just do what you want I'm just giving you ideas of the fun things that you can do with an egg box okay so now I'll put it this way. You can see there's a hole over here. Can you see the hole? Okay, so now when it's flat on the ground, let me see what let me show you what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm going to guide the marble through the ball, through the hole. Yeah, let's do it like this and you can see it. Okay, so you can shoot it in like that. Okay, or you can use a straw and you've got to try and move the paper from one to the other side. Okay, so see now it's getting stuck. Now I've got to shoot it over. It's quite hard. Look, over 
and you've got to move it between the different holes. Okay, you can also use your spoon and scoop it up. It flicks a little bit easier. It's a bit easier than a straw. Okay, so you can do that on either side, make a hole. You can make holes on this side as well. And you can play a game. You can play a game with your friend. And you can even blow with the straw. So with the other, the other part of the top of the lid, you can take the paper and you can blow it. Okay, so you can just blow it even the marble you can try and blow. I'm going to do it from this side. So I blow. And you're going to try and blow it into the holes. Okay, are you ready? <gasps> okay, you can try with the marble, but it's going to be super hard. You have to go really close. How much fun is that? Have I given you lots of ideas to do lots of fun things today with your egg box? Okay, so make some fun games for me. And have lots of fun playing with the marbles or the paper balls and your straw, okay, or your spoon. Or you can even just use your finger, whichever you would like to do. Okay, there we go. That's it for our lesson today. We learned about spiders. I'm going to show you my web for the last time. There's our beautiful web. We built a beautiful web for our spider and that's his home isn't it where he catches all his insects and we made our very own spider with eight legs thank you so much for joining joining me today and we will see you tomorrow where we're going to make a uh, what are we going to make a hot air balloon okay i'm going to do an experiment you can watch my experiment or you can join in if you want okay and then we're going to make a hot air balloon. So this afternoon, I want you to go around the house and look for different materials. You can look for paper, tin foil, material, anything that you have. We're going to make a hot air balloon tomorrow. That's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Keep nice and warm in this cold, rainy weather. Bye-bye.